the casino cage, wads of cash in hand. The security camera captures a real player, a larger than life gambler. With posts from luxury boats and private planes, Lazaro Hernandez fashioned himself as a high flying high roller. Turns out he was the mastermind of a $230 million drug counterfeiting operation. These thousands of bottles were all originally prescribed and filled for patients. Now they fill an evidence room at Gilead Sciences in Northern California. Every single bottle was discovered in a complex criminal drug diversion scheme. We are playing a bit of a game of whack-a-mole. Lori Mayall fights to find the counterfeits every day. She oversees global product security at Gilead, which manufactures HIV medications, Bictarvi and Discovi, drugs at the center of Hernandez's fraud. We know that upward to 80,000 of bottles of counterfeits were entered into the supply chain. And what would those be worth if, if someone was paying full retail price? Those bottles would be about $230 million. Here's how drug diversion works. A patient fills a prescription for a medication worth several thousand dollars, but turns around and sells it for a fraction of that in cash. The buyer, known as an aggregator, removes the patient information, alters the bottle, then sells it to a wholesale distributor, who sells it back to the pharmacy at a discount. So the same bottle re-enters the supply chain. This bottle doesn't even contain pills, just rocks. All they need to do is make the sale, and that's what they care about. And this man, let's call him Julio, who agreed to an interview if we concealed his identity, said it was easy to persuade patients to sell their bottles. They had AIDS, cancer, and they don't have any money. So for $100, $200, they'll sell it every day. So they'll forego the medication. They won't take the medication. They won't take the medication. The fraud achieves size and national scale because licensed distributors buy from aggregators like Julio, sell to the pharmacies, and give the whole process the sheen of legitimacy. They're a critical cog in the scheme. And the distributors have relationships with thousands of independent pharmacies across the nation. Stephen Mahmood is assistant special agent in charge at Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General. The pharmacies that are on the receiving end of these diverted prescriptions, do they know? Some do, some don't. Medicare pays out to pharmacies a lot of money for these drugs because they are expensive and life-sustaining. This hidden camera video has never been seen in public. Shot by an undercover informant, it shows a woman, her husband and son, cleaning prescription pill bottles in a South Florida apartment. The individual in the white shirt in the middle, you can see the uh, what appears to be lighter fluid. He's using that lighter fluid, a harsh chemical, to clean the bottle and remove the, the pharmacy prescription label. Gilead Sciences and Johnson & Johnson have sued distributors and pharmacies throughout the country. Their investigations and litigation are still unfolding. These three were convicted in connection with a prescription drug counterfeiting operation. Lazaro Hernandez's jet-setting days ended abruptly this year. He was convicted in that $230 million drug counterfeiting operation. He pled guilty to conspiracy charges related to distributing adulterated and misbranded drugs and money laundering. He is serving a 15-year prison sentence. And you know who has largely escaped any kind of responsibility here? The wholesale distributors. None have been criminally charged, though the CEO of Scripps Wholesale, based in Brooklyn, was indicted in June for buying more than $150 million worth of prescription HIV medication, which had been illegally diverted. Prosecutors say he then turned around and resold it to pharmacies. He's pled not guilty, and his attorney declined to comment to CNBC.